When Dr. Mosin became my primary care physician, she, I was a long-term smoker back then, and she recommended I have the CT screening. So basically every year now I've had a CT lung screening. When a patient comes for a visit with a primary care physician, they not only come for uh, management of uh, chronic medical conditions like hypertension, diabetes, they also come in to address screening and vaccinations and they want uh, to be as healthy as possible when they go forward. When they leave the doctor's office, they want to feel like everything about their health has been addressed. And part of that is screening for any cancer that they would be susceptible to. Most commonly, we associate lung cancer with smoking. So the longer that you have smoked and the more cigarettes you have smoked, that puts you at an increased risk. Also being male um, and also being exposed to um, substances such as radon or asbestos um, are also high risk factors. Low dose CT is a type of CAT scan of the chest. It does have lower radiation than a regular CAT scan that we obtain. And what it does is it looks for um, pulmonary nodules or spots in the lungs that may clue us in on a patient potentially having lung cancer. Getting a low dose CT, it's uh, basically about 15 minutes out of your day. And you check in with the radiologist, et cetera. Basically you lay down on the table, they run you into the machine, tell you to hold your breath for all of about 10 seconds, and you're done. It's painless and simple, easy, and doesn't take any time whatsoever. A lot of patients are apprehensive about getting a screening for cancer. Just because you're getting screened for any types of cancer doesn't mean that you are going to have cancer. This is for prevention of cancer or early detection of cancer so we can have a better outcome of um, whatever you're dealing with. If we catch it early, we can treat it early, and you will have a better, longer uh, quality of life and quantity of life. So anybody that's age 50 to 80 years old, or if they have smoked for more than 20 years, and as well as if they have quit within the past 15 years, they meet criteria. And obviously, of course, if they're still currently smoking, then they would meet the criteria for lung cancer screening with low dose CT. We do know that the further stage that they are um, diagnosed, the prognosis is poorer. My father passed away from lung cancer in 2000. He was a long time smoker. He fit this criteria completely. I can't help but think that if this guideline was there in 2000, we could have caught it early. By the time we caught it, he was stage four, and there was only four months in between diagnosis and him passing away. Lung cancer is still uh, the leading cause of death in the, in the United States. The, obviously, the prevention of lung cancer is, as, is more important than screening. And prevention includes smoking cessation counseling um, and helping them with smoking cessation. I was a long-term smoker. I was running at one time a pack a day. At the time I saw Dr. Mosin, I was probably about half a pack a day and I had been smoking since I started my time in the military. It's from 1975 to three years ago. So yes, I was, it was one of those, it was a risk factor, big risk factor, and this was one way to eliminate that factor.